Hello everyone. Welcome back to another great session of this lovely Sierra class. Today we are going to be looking at a very important topic in mathematics, which is the area of a polygon using the vertices method or coordinate method. Remember, we are doing coordinate geometry. This coordinate geometry, and um, want to get the area of a polygon whose uh, uh, vertices coordinates are known. How do you actually do it? So what you have to do for me is to ensure you relax yourselves. Don't distract yourself by any means. Don't skip any part of this video. Watch this video from the beginning to the end. Listen and stay attentive so that at the end of the day you will get enough or get enough knowledge from this class. If you have not subscribed, to try and do so because it's very very important. Now. The model we have for today, let's explain it. Now, if you have, remember, if you want to write your coordinate system, we write it as either, we are just looking at the polygon now. The polygon is a two dimensional uh, uh, shape. It should have two dimensional relationship. So you have just two uh, 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 coordinates, which is x and let's say y. Let's say x and y. This is how we write our coordinate system. You write x, y. For example, if you have like this, you're having 1,5. It means that the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 5. That's how we write our coordinate here, this coordinate geometry. Now, if you have a polygon that has the following the, the coordinate, let's say s1, y1, s2, y2, s3, y3, s4, y4, uh, s1, y1. Okay, this, this and this are the same. This s1, this s1. So we have this, 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 and this. How do you solve or salvage the problem? Let's say we have a coordinate, it has this, this, we have a, a polygon, has this coordinate, this, 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 and in this uh, vertices. We have polygons. The polygons is just something like a, uh, a plane shape that has a, uh, whose vertices is something like that has uh, at least, at least three sides, which is the polygon that has three sides, it's called a triangle. We call it a triangle. But typically, it should start from five sides, five sided shapes. We have quadrilateral and so on. So now they like all we have here have one vertex, two, three, and four. These are four sides you know, or four vertices. One, two, three, four. The vertices are the corners. For example, now let's say you have a triangle of this nature. Now this, this, these are called the sides. Then this corner, this and this is called uh, those corners are called vertices. So what we are looking at now, we are not using the ordinary mathematics to solve this area now. We want to use the vertices to solve it. Let's say we have S1, Y1, this place is S2, Y2, this is S3, Y3. And so what is what is the area of this poly uh, 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 polygon or this triangle using this coordinate method. So the first thing you have to do is to ensure you arrange it. Starting from the first uh, uh, vertices that we given. Start with the first one. You give the second one, arrange the third one, and then after you have arranged the last one, then you will sum up everything with the first one or the first or the uh, 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 vertices. That's what you do. Now, to get the area down, the area will not be equal to half the magnitude. The area will be equal to what? Half the magnitude of. You start from this y side. y1 times s1. Remember, it's half the magnitude of y1 times s1 plus y2 times uh, s3 plus y3 times s4 plus y4 times x1 remember you close everything with s1 y1 again okay? so that's what i have here s2 times y1 s3 y2 then s4 uh, 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 y3 x1 y4 so this time this time this time this time that's just you do then minus repeat the same thing again x1 times y2, s2 times y3, s3 times y4, s4 times y1. So minus this other side. But even though you do this side minus this side, maybe by doing this minus this. Since you are taking the magnitude, remember for magnitude, it means take only the absolute or the size. Take only the absolute value or just take all the size and dump or do away with the size. Uh -huh. So let's look at a typical example. We have three questions here. In one, is find the area of a triangle 
Find the area of a triangle. Find the area of what? Of a triangle. Find the area of a triangle. Find the area of a triangle with find the area of a triangle with vertices 3 comma like the first triangle is having vertices 3 comma 4 5 comma 6 minus 2 comma 0 that is the first vertice that is the vertice of the first triangle now the second uh, triangle is having the two vertices 4 comma 7 0 comma 2 minus 3 comma 0 that is the second uh, triangle the third triangle now is having vertices 5 comma 6 3 comma 2 and 8 comma minus 1 that is the third triangle having uh, that uh, vertices so how do you salvage or how do you round up or solve this uh, issue now so look at what we are going to do we have solution we have solution now the first thing we are going to do here is to try your best to arrange it this way so let's start from the first triangle let's solve for the area of the first triangle let's arrange this way now we have 1, 2, 3 so this is the first one we have 3, 4 then we have what? second one 5, 6 we have the third one minus 2 comma 0. Remember, after you have written the, the last one, you round up everything with the first vertices. So you go back to this first one is what? 3 comma 1 comma 4. So this is the first time you're going to do. The next, the area will now be equal to half the magnitude of. Remember, I just you know you're starting from this side and this side, or this side and this side, you see how the same thing. You are taking magnitude. I'm going to start on this side, that's why I'm going to follow the This side is this, this side is this, this side is this, minus. So I'm going to have, okay, let's do that. This one times this, so I'm going to have, let's have, have 4 times 5, that's the first thing, plus this side is this, 6 times minus 2, plus 0 times this, I mean, this side is this, I mean, this is what I mean. 0 times 3, then minus. Let's go back to this other side. Three times this one times this. This times this. This times this. Just like for multiplication. We're going to have six times this. We're going to have six times three times six. Then plus this times this. Six times. Okay, okay. We have this times this. This times this. Then this times five times zero. Sorry about that. Five times zero. Then plus minus two times four. That's minus 2 times 4 and close everything and it so this will give us the magnitude of half the magnitude of ok, let's do 5 times 4 that is 20 already, that is 20 minus 12 plus 0 then we have this from the first one we have this from the first one then minus the second one 3 times 6 is 18 we have 18 plus 5 times 0 that is 0 Minus 2 times 4 less than 6. Then we're going to have half, half the magnitude of 20 minus 12. What is that? That is 8. Minus 18 minus 8. That is 10. That is 10. So this will give us half the magnitude of 8 minus 10. That is minus 2. 2 here, okay, there's no need to do that. Remember, we're going to take the of minus 2. Now, what is the absolute value of minus 2? Absolute value means take only the value and throw away the sign. That's the of magnitude. So, I'm going to do away with the sign now and take only the value. So, I'm going to have half times 2. This will cancel this. I'm going to have 1 squared unit. That is the area of that first triangle. That's the area of that first triangle. Now let's move on to the second triangle, which is this. Let's move on to the second triangle, which is this one. So I know from here, look at the first thing, arrange, we have, we have 4, 7 for this, then we have 0, 2, then we have minus 3, 0, then we will, after you have arranged everything in order, then you're going to close it up with the first, but this is what? 4, 7. Next, you have to multiply this times this, this times this, this times this. So I'm going to have the area to be equal to half the magnitude of the first, when it's 7 times 0. I'm going to write it again. I'm going to do this straightforward in a very straightforward way. 7 times 0, that is 0. Plus 2 times minus 3, that is minus 6. 
plus 0 times 4. That is 0. And this is the first one. Minus. Minus. Okay, let's go to the second one. This times this. This times this. This times this. 4 times 2. That is 8. Plus 0 times 0. That is 0. Plus 3 times 8. Okay, minus 3 times 7. That is minus 21. Okay, use it. Then we're going to have half the magnitude of 0 plus minus 6. That is minus 6. Plus 0 again. Minus 6. Minus 8 plus 0. That is 0. Plus minus 21. It's just like 8 minus 21. That's what we have here. Like 8 minus 21. Now, 8 minus 20 is 12. It's minus 12. So we're going to put minus 13. Minus 13. That's what we're going to have. That's what we're going to have. That's in half. Magnitude of minus 6 minus 13. Okay, look at it. Minus 6. Minus times minus. That is plus 13. That's what we have here. That's we have. Times the magnitude of this. Let us be straightforward. It's a very straightforward way. Minus 6 plus 13. What is that? I think that is 7. That is 7. Minus 6 plus 13. That is plus 7. Because minus 6 is lesser than 13. And you just, if you add 13 to minus 6, you will have plus 7. Or if you say 13 minus 6, you want to do it like you have plus 7. You take the magnitude of plus 7, you still remember that plus 7. That will be plus 7 over 2. Or we're going to take 3.5 squared units. That will be the area of the second, uh, vertex, uh, second triangle. We are already done with this. We are not done with this. So, only we can try this to check for the answer. Maybe we can try this to check for the answer. So, the answer of this will be those of us just arrange it well, just arrange it in order. Ensure the thing is in order, then you are already good to. Good. So let me just uh, wipe off part of the ball so that we can solve this question. Then try just one more question because this space will not be enough for this. Not be enough for that. So let's let's wipe off the ball for this. So all right for the last question, the last question which is this triangle. I have this on these vertices. Let's perform array vertices. We have five comma six. We have five comma six. 3,2, we we'll have 8, minus 1. Then, so for, after I read the three vertices, all, all the vertices are, are, are around, you go around it up with the first vertex, which is 5,6. And then, so you start your working this out, the area is going to be, the area is going to be half the magnitude of 6 times 3, that's going to give us 18, plus 2 times 8, that's going to give us. 16 plus minus 1 times 5, that is minus 5. Then okay, minus, then we'll go to this other side. If I set this first, then we're not going to do this piece. So I'm going to do 5 times 5 times 2, that will give us 10. 3 times minus 1, that will give us minus 3. 8 times 6, plus 48. That's what we have to happen. The next, solve it gently so that you don't make any mistake. We have half the magnitude of, let's do, uh, 18 plus 16. 8 plus 6, that is only 14. That is less than 34. We have 34 minus 5. Then minus. 10 minus 2 is 7 plus 48. Then this will give us half the magnitude of 34 minus 1 is 29 minus 4 plus and 7 plus 48. 7 plus 8 is 52 is 55. So this is So this is what I have now. So you did gently. Next, it is very good. We are going to have half the magnitude of 29 minus 55. 30 minus uh, 55 will be 25. Okay? That is minus 25. Because you add 25 to 30, that will be minus 55. So I'm doing 29 now. So I'm going to have minus 26 here. 
The next, we will have half distance by the zero of 26. Now, what is the absolute value of 26? We drop the sign away, people the value inside the size of the 26. We will have just 26. So, give us 2 year 1, 22 this place, 13. 13 times 1, we will have 13 uh, square units. That's what we have. We have what? 13 square units. Now, this is how we unravel or evaluate or solve for the area of a polygon with no vertices. Remember, the simplest polygon you can see is just a plain triangle. Uh -huh. And uh, major polygons start from those typical polygons, start from all those uh, pentagons, start from five. Five uh, 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 vertices are good. But the simplest one you can see is this uh, triangle. Yeah, triangle is a plain shape with uh, three sides, three vertices. Now, there is a question I'd like to give to you guys to check if you actually got what we did in this class. The first question is find the area of a quadrilateral. Find the area of a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a polygon with four sides, not three sides now, with four vertices. Find the area of a quadrilateral with following vertices P, and the vertices of P, 3, minus 4. Q and vertices of Q, 3,5. R, and of R, 1,1. And the last one, let's call the last one X. Let's call the X. Last letter is S, and the value for the valve vertices is minus 3,0. So we're going to find the area of this one. The area, it's not very well. You have to have 20 square units. There's no mistakes anywhere. Then, Question 2, this is question 1. Question 2 is now find the area of a triangle after the question 1. The other is for quadrilateral with this four side. We're about to do it. Arrange this, 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 then close it with this, and evaluate it this way. Is that you say this side and this side, or this side and this side, you still get the same answer. Remember, you take absolute value at the end of the day. Then, question 2 is find the area of a triangle with following vertices 2, 4, 6,3 and 9,7. We'll do that. If you do very well, the area is going to be 9.5 square units. That's what we have as your final, final answer. So, uh, we like to draw the property of this class. I did say that. Super uh, uh, moment of this class. So, I go to the climax of the class and uh, I hope that I've gotten uh, something from this class. In case there's anything you don't understand, just make sure you watch the video over and over again and get it. Remember this in the theory. You have vertices, uh, a polygon with vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. But you have to just arrange it this way and close the arrangement with the first vertices. The next thing, you have to do this side and this side, or this side and this side. So I, I have to do this side and this side. Why to just to multiply? Why times this? This one times this one times this one times this. No, no, this time, this time, this. Just like that. And you're going to have this. Then take the half and take the absolute value of what you are multiplying. In this is negative so that you don't have negative value for area. Because you cannot say our area of something is negative. That does not make sense. It does not make sense because area is a negative value. Where is the area of this curve? Minus 2 meters per No, no, no. It does not make sense that way. So please ensure you understand this. And you see it in any way or in any exam, in any other condition, exam conditions and the rest, we will go to something like travel, uh, anything from this uh, aspect. So thank you all, God bless you all. See you guys in our next class. Thank you. Thank you.